7.38 on a hump day. It's Wednesday. And it's clear skies outside. It's going to be a cool day. I was walking downtown yesterday. I was freezing. <laughs> All right. We're talking about New York. Their law stop and frisk has been stated that it is illegal. So now they have to go in and revamp this law. And so um, someone said that, that if they leave it the way it is, mm-hmm. they'll be fine. If they lift that thing, blood is going to run like water in the streets. Mm-hmm. So our question is, if they brought the stop and frisk to Chicago, would you have a problem with it? Nope. Would you struggle with it? I'd be happy to have that. I think we need it. You know what? I just know that racial profiling is real. And then some of these mm-hmm. guys that look like, well, quote unquote, say they look like thugs. And when your son can just be as innocent mm-hmm. and to see your son stopped in the streets on a regular basis, spread out on the ground. I don't know. Chad, when you that. say that, so you think when they do that, they're going to like yeah. knock the people down? No, on the it's ground not about and knocking them down. Is have you ever um, been in your car and you drive and they got like four um, guys spread out on the car and they spread out on the car, then they going through the car and imagine if you're doing nothing, you have nothing, and on a regular basis this is happening to you. That would become a problem. I agree. I agree that something needs to be yes, done. Yes, yes. I do. But I just know that some people can be ignorant. And it, it can become just a, a degrading, mm-hmm. um, disrespectful. disrespectful. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just not good. 312-591-3878. I do agree that something needs to happen, though. Well, being an African-American male who lives in Chicago and has gone through it more than... Um, I can even count right now. I say, yeah, I have a problem with it, mainly because of the attitude of the officers. Uh, it's almost like they, they do um, humiliate you. Uh, I've had so guns they, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. So they already stop and frisk you? They do that often to you? I've had it. Well, not so much since I've been um, at the age I am now, but when I was younger, oh, yeah. What really? did you have on? <laughs> they a would lot. just stop you just periodically. What, did just you have a do-rag and a, and a baseball cap on? One time I was in I was in the park playing playing football. Mm. They they rolled up on us. You thought it was something like from a movie. They had I mean we we got on we got on shorts and 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 jogging pants, and they rolled up on us. Come on, somebody in the park with a gun, and and they searched. I'm like, what are we gonna hide a gun at? We got a shorts on. I mean they searching us. I mean so yeah, it's humiliating. Uh, I would say this. I do know that there's a need to do something, right. and and they, they, they need to come up with a way. I mean, some kind of device that you walk through or uh, something. You, know, you just walk through here, you know, you know, like they got at the, at the ball games or something. Some right, way to be, some, something better than what they do now. Because it's, it's, it's terrible the way they do it now. All right. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. It's the John Hanna Morning Show.